Mr. Foxglove looks at Erevan. Erevan will just keep, will just, will just remember how, remember his riding from his um, military background and just keep riding without turning. All right, excellent. I, uh, <clears throat> uh, Foxglove sort of clears his throat next to Erevan. I, um, I must say, I. I, I heard a rumor that uh, that you are old military. Is that correct? Uh, very correct. I used to work for a military group that was made up about would be 180 years, I think. Mm-hmm. Ago. Uh, Alan Fox sort of looks a bit surprised. 180 years. I say that uh, <laughs> that is quite some time ago. Yes, it is. It, I but- Unfortunately, I still remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, how how positively interesting! How, do tell, please. I I would love to hear some of the stories. Mm. The stories. Well, some of them are nice enough. Some of them I would rather not go into. But Evan will tell some of the stories. The same one he told to Amico, actually, mm-hmm. to him. Uh, yes, Alan Foxlove listens with, uh, with with genuine interest. Uh, the the party feels, and uh, he he seems quite enthralled by the story. And uh, and so, I, so military man, yes, that that would explain a lot, I suppose. Is that where your training comes from? I mean, I mean the sword fighting and all the heroics. Most of it, yes. Huh. And, and this, this, this special unit you belong to, it doesn't exist anymore then? No, the unit, most of it got disbanded quite a while back, and then, from what I know, most of it is now destroyed. He nods and says, oh, I see. Hmm. So, so, um, and he sort of falls into thought. And all of the other companions... Were they part of the military unit as well? No. All of these are people that I have picked up in my own attempts to continue my commander's legacy. How absolutely inspiring! A true hero indeed. Everyone will smile and continue make, making, you know, continue riding. Uh, yeah, Aldrin keeps uh, keeps looking interested, and he uh, he turns to Aronos next. So, uh, how did you come to work under the uh, Ar- commander Ever Ervan here? Um, actually, that happened uh, very recently. I have um, uh, lived in this town of Sandpoint for a few months now, and uh, only met him a couple of days ago. I see. Well, myself, I'm only here visiting. <laughs> Going back to Magnamar quite uh, quite soon. Oh, all right. So, how did you end up with the with the Spire Vanguard? Uh, well, um, I met them shortly before the Goblin attacks, and um, yeah, uh, we have been working together to sort of solve the mystery, you could say. Mystery. He sort of looks interested. What mystery? Well, uh, why the goblins attacked and uh, and uh, all that, you could say. Hmm. I seem to think, why the goblins attack? Well, they're goblins. Uh, don't goblins attack towns? That's what I've heard. Mm, yes, but they're usually not disorganized. Hmm. Well, they didn't seem too organized to me. Well, they attacked sim- simultaneously all over the town, and um, hmm. yeah, we have, we have found out some uh, some other things. And most normally, I only see goblin groups of about four or five, sometimes maybe six. Mm-hmm. Yes, this was um, probably an entire tribe attacking. Yeah, um, his eyebrows shoot up. I see. How how sinister? Do you have any leads? Hmm. Um, not really, no. Uh, we believe we know what the, what the tribe is called, but not much more than that. With some ideas, but no leads. 
In Nons, I see. Well, you, you do seem quite proficient at fighting goblins. Have, have you done so long? No, actually not, but not, not me, at least. For the rest of the group, I'm unsure. I know myself, I've definitely killed a nice group of goblins before. Yes. Before I, when I was in the military, I've killed, well, with my group, I've ended up killing a good several dozen goblins, per, sometimes in a mission with my entire group. He nods himself. Wow, I, I, that is impressive. Unfortunately, most of the kills were not mine. Most of my, my, my friends got them, but, you know, we're a team. It works. <laughs> He smiles. Oh, humility as well as skill at arms. I am inspired, sir. I myself have uh, not had that much experience in combat, but I rely on my uh, natural abilities. I see. And what are those, if I may inquire? I am uh, blessed with dragon blood, you could say. Oh, really? And he looks quite interested. How, how does that show? Well, I, um, I'm blessed with the magical powers, you could say. Uh, I can harness um, the power of the dragons from my, uh, from my blood. How, how extraordinary. Well, yes. Um, not uh, many people are blessed with uh, this kind of powers. Although Salor over there has, uh, has similar, similar abilities to me. Uh, Alden... And glances over at Saloro. Saloro's storm grey eyes are cutting into Aranas's back. <laughs> <laughs> Aldrin sort of looks at Saloro and nods. Yes, uh, yes, uh, I, I, I imagine so. Hmm. Dragons, how interesting. Have you ever seen a dragon? Uh, no, I have not. How do you know that it's dragon blood then? Uh, it's uh, what I've been told, at least. I see. He nods to himself. Well, I'm afraid I don't have anything like that. <laughs> uh, not many people do, no. Hmm. So looks looks over the area. So, if um, if perchance say I would. Um, um, <clears throat> He's sort of looking for the word, and, and you see he, he is sort of blushing a bit. Uh, if, um, if, if to say I would like some training, uh, how, how if to defend myself in, in case of, well, more things like this, how, how would you recommend I proceed? And he turns to Erwin primarily, primarily for this. I recommend possibly finding some kind of guild of fighters or something. There are many of them in some of the larger towns. They often have ways... They often have trainers to help people well develop their skills. Hmm. I I see. I see. Do Do you have any any names? Anyone I could turn to? Will there? Will I'm assuming no. No, of you. Um. You might. Um. Let's see here. Uh. Yeah, yes. I. I guess. Yeah, I guess it would be feasible. Oh yes, I tell him. I tell him I tell him a few names if I know any from Magnamar. Well, he nods, he nods, and says, "Hmm, uh, how interesting. Uh, uh, how would I would I be able to fight like you then?" Fighting like me takes well quite a bit of time, effort, and experience. Though anyone, though everyone and anyone could could quite easily fight like me if they put their mind to it. He nods himself, I see. <laughs> and uh, a few hundred years of training then, I suppose. Well, I've been, I've been a bit rusty until I joined up with these guys. I haven't ha had a good fight for at least 50 years before the goblins attacked. And still, the sword arm seems to, be, seems to strike true to me. <laughs> at least the, uh, the blood remains of those blasted goblins seems to, uh, seems to indicate such. It seems. Everyone's kind of unsure how to answer that. Uh, Alan Foxglove is looking at him quite intently. 
well, I, gu I guess my sword didn't seem too bad on chopping up those goblins. Though, if it wasn't for many other people, such as Roldar over there, okay. yeah, everything looked over, we would not have done it quite as well. Hmm. Yes, the him. No, Aldrin looks uh, looks over the head of uh, Arnos on his horse towards the roller. Roldar turns his head and steers stares with the uh, pupilless eyes back at him. Uh, Aldrin Foxglob seems interested and in, in sort of is almost. It, uh, roller gets the feeling like he's almost. Amused, like he's looking at a rare and exotic animal. Observe <laughs> mm, the Goliath in his natural habitat. <laughs> oh, oh, crikey! Me. Check out these markings on his head. Crikey, we've got a live one here. <laughs> Call blimey! Yes. Well, you seem to be. <laughs> Uh, quite the the strapping fellow. He sort of looks up and down at Roller. I uh, well, your sword arm or I guess hammer arm <laughs> uh, uh, also seems quite proficient in fighting goblins. I have dealt with many in my times in the dwarven caverns. They are pitiful creatures that need to be smeared across the walls. They only cause harm and pain. Alden nods. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> My dear Fluffy could could attest to that for sure. Recap, hey. uh, Griff. Uh, Fluffy was the name of his dog. Thank you. <clears throat> Did he die? Yeah. Yes. Fluffy died. A regrettable loss, I am sure. He nods. Yes, she she has been with me for a couple of years. I, I liked her. But um, back to this uh, goblin slaying. Uh, would you have any tips, uh, you know, for, for me? Hit them hard and hit them fast. The little buggers are quick. Hmm. He seems to, seems to nod to himself. Hmm. Hard and fast, quick, right, right. Aim for the head. They don't like that. Not again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they also seem, if you hit them in the hands, they just cackle at you. They mock you. You end the cackles quick. Mm, it's peaceful and satisfying. He seems to, he seems to nod himself. Yes, ending quick. Mm. Also, they have an intent for singing. Ah, oh, that was incredible. Ah. Oh. Insidious songs. They just stick in your head. Like a childlike rhyme. That's why you must end it quickly. Stop the nuisance. Alan Foxglove seems to listen intently. I, I see. And you do it by aiming at the head. Well, that's where the mouth is. <laughs> he, he sort of smiles. Oh, of course. <laughs> of, co of course. Of course. And I don't have a sense motive. Shit. That's insight. Ah, yes, insight. Okay, thank you. Their voices get into your head. Never very nice. I, I, I see. I see. And he, he nods to himself. <clears throat> Is there anything else that you would like to know about those stupid little creatures? I seems to think, well, uh, how do they how do they become so many? They seem to be everywhere. Uh, why why can't you just stamp them out? You're heroes. Why can't you just kill them all? Well, Um, Rolder would know that, well, for, you know, first of all, goblins breathe quite heavily. They breathe like rabbits. Uh, and they also usually lair in, in f sort of 
odd places, hard to reach places and stuff like that. So it's not really easy to uh, to hunt them down. If they lay in a cave or in a forest, you, you can hunt goblins there for weeks without getting all of them because they are quite proficient at hiding, actually. They are an infestation like rats. They sneak into areas that are not well scouted and breed endlessly. They cannot be stopped. You kill countless throngs of them, but they keep coming back. They are insipid. In notes, I see, I see. Hmm, it seems to ponder this. Yes, I, 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 um, looks for again and sort of trails off a bit. Roldar does stare, kind of semi bewildered at this man. But just ro- ro- shakes his head slightly and just looks at the horse and the tiny little hay- reins that he's holding. <laughs> the horse turns his head and looks back. He looks kind of, oh, my back. I'm not happy about this either. <laughs> Uh, Alvin, can I get a perception check, please? Uh, sure. Thank you. Mm, um, yes, after a uh, after a while, sort of going into the forest, uh, Aldern Foxglove sort of uh, traipses a bit in front of the party. He says, very well, friends. It seems that uh, the hunt is about to start then. And he smiles towards you. Um, yes, we would need to try to track the boar. And uh, let's see if we can if we can lure something out, eh? Very well, let's get started. You know, it's p- excellent, excellent. And it looks quite eagerly into the forest. Um, yes, anyone who has nature trained can make a nature check to uh, try to find or know anything about boars. Mm, nope. Um, Saloro, that's a very good roll, actually. Um, 18. That, uh, yes. Um, Saloro would so he takes a, a gander at the uh, surrounding area and uh, and sort of mm, well uh, given this and this and this there shouldn't be boars roughly in this direction you know given the geometry and the uh, not geometry geography and uh, and sort of the, uh, the layout of the forest and the nature around it okay in that case uh, to help those who are unfamiliar with uh traveling in the woods and uh what solar will do is use precipitation to uh create like small purple flickers of sparkles of light uh outlining an area through which tracks will be conveyed in a direction uh speaking softly i am familiar with these creatures our best chance of fighting them will be in this direction uh, um, hmm? everyone just nod whoops everyone i would move the horse like oh oh sorry uh, Eric will move up a little bit. They don't, have, they don't have ownership of their ponies. Yep. There we go. Wedge formation. <laughs> Charge! <Yeah. laughs> I, I, I can't move my horse, eh? Neither can I. I my horse, eh? You've only done Aronosis. None of them got ownership. I of their thought ponies. I did. Well, you didn't have it originally. You shut your mouth, asthma man. I already told you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now everyone should have. All right. Hi, car. How you doing, car? Yeah. yeah. You doing all right, car. <laughs> Wait. We can do a box formation. <laughs> with hey, lungs. With guest appearance from the idiots outside my window. <laughs> mm. Fields up. Weapons <laughs> online. <laughs> Oh, fine. Uh, uh, Vanguard! <laughs> Excellent formation. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a perfect form. That's an that's a Iron Van- Spiral Vanguard formation right there. <laughs> <laughs> this will punch a hole in the lines for sure. Like, I don't, I don't even... <laughs> uh, might confuse them to open up, yeah. Um... Yes, further down the track and into the area that uh, Salor has um, has noted, 
Yeah, Albert actually picks up uh, board tracks from the corner of his eye. Uh, I guess Elvin will try to get the attention of the party and point out the tracks. Point it out. The whole party does indeed see the tracks. Elvin nods and immediately turns to follow them. Uh, yes, Aldrin seems quite uh, excited about this too. He's like, oh, finally, yes. Uh, and you all set off. Can I get another perception check, please, from Aldrin? With your eyes, oh. your brand. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes, indeed. Uh, following the tracks for a... Um, uh, for a while, here's uh, you. You can begin to sort of hear a a shuffling, snuffling, cracking sound in, from the forest ahead. Seems like to be coming from a uh, couple of uh, bushes. Can I see if it's a boar? Ah, uh, you would you would think so. The tracks lead definitely in that direction. Uh, Elvin will just say, well, I guess we found a boar with a big question mark at the end because he doesn't quite know how to proceed now. Uh, Aldrin Foxglove uh, looks quite excited uh, and, and looks around. Where? Where? Uh, Elvin will just point in the direction to the, bu to the bush. He, uh, he looks at the bush and Aha! Fantastic! Very well done! Let the best man win, eh? And he uh, he basically kicks his horse into motion and flies towards the bush, um, drawing out something that looks like a hunting spear from um, from sort of his saddle uh, saddleback. Right. Uh, at this, you hear the the frightened squeal of something in the um, in the bush, and the boar sets off wildly into the forest with Alan Foxglove in hot hot pursuit. Arnos will uh, follow up on his uh, right flank. All right. Roldar will follow up on the left. I'll pull up right behind. Mm -hmm. Elvin will just stay at the back, so, yeah. shaking his head because he doesn't approve of just charging a target instead Solaro, of uh, will sneakily make moves. approaching it. Solora will make moves like rush Heinrich forward and then he let the others trail off and then just stop. Look down at Heinrich like... Yeah, right. Like, we're going to be doing that. Come along, Heinrich. We'll catch up with him soon enough. And then Slora's going to go off and we'll walk with Heinrich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everyone who is in the hot pursuit uh, can make athletics and endurance checks. Oh, God. Oh, right. that's Them, <laughs> I suppose, acting for their, 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 their horsies. Oh, I yes. just realized endurance is not my good stat. Uh -oh. oh my goodness, the oh. leader somehow wasn't <laughs> Spider-Man on this one somehow. I don't believe it. <laughs> my athletics is still okay. Alright, alright. Uh, yes, it, uh, the the pursuit is wild and frantic through the forest. Alan Foxglove is, uh, is quite enthusiastically screaming with delight as the party slowly, slowly uh, approaches the boar. Uh, everyone um, sort of dodges and weaves between the different branches and the bushes and uh, get closer and closer to the boar. It is actually Aronos who, who, gets, uh, who sort of gets into the flank of the boar and um, bypasses, in this instance, Alden Foxclub, who was in the lead, and uh, yeah, gets a basically a chance to to strike at it. So, uh, Aaron, right. if you would, um, hmm, what should I cast? Um, Thunder Slam, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Um, don't target the boy. Just cast it whenever target. All right. Um, there. Oh wow. Uh, yes, uh, the uh, the boar is is defeated. Describe. All right, um, Arnos will um, ride up on his horse, um, uh, shooting out. Uh, uh, is thunder a um, sound attack or yes. something like that? Right. Yes. Then a shockwave of sound will uh, hit the boar on, uh, <coughs> on basically his backside on the right and slam him into a tree, knocking him unconscious and 
Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Alright. Enderized. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Alan Foxglove uh, sort of uh, stops his horse and sort of slows down, and he pants heavily. I, whew, that was that was quite a show there, I must say. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get that that, that killing stroke. Uh, he looks a bit disappointed down at the boar, but mm. as I said, made the best man win, and it wasn't me this day. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have used conventional weapons. That might have been cheating. I don't know. <laughs> Oh nonsense! You're heroes. You you transcend normal rules when it comes to boar hunting. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Arnos will uh, jump down from his horse, uh, pick up the boar, and um, put it on the back of the horse. But I must say, I've never actually seen anything like that. Oh, you haven't? No, no. It was just a, 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 an explosion of some kind, and the boar. Hmm. Something with the dragon blood, I suppose, and he smiles. Uh, yes, I harness the um, magical powers that uh, are inside me. He nods. Impressive. Well, the <laughs> the boar sure is defeated. Well, yes. Um, it's not a very uh, hard enemy to defeat, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he smiles to himself. Ah, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Um, <clears throat> well, with the boar defeated, it looks uh, then, uh, with no real marks on it, I guess. Huh, interesting. That is a supremely useful tactic for hunting. And he, he sort of seems to consider this. Yes, I didn't want to splash it with acid. He looks acid? No. How, how would we be able to eat it if you splashed it with acid? Yes, exactly. Well then. Fantastic. I, I, I deem this hunt to be a success. And I simply must insist that you join me for dinner this evening. The, uh, I will hand the boar over to Emeko and instruct her to cook the very best meal she can with it. Yes, we will have a feast. Sounds wonderful. Fantastic! And he beams around at the whole party. I, uh, I assume you all will be joining. Urban nods while trying to catch his breath. For his bad endurance roll. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Saloro will, will trot up, you know, Heinrich, you know, prancing along as he easily dodges over, you know, the uh, the terrain of the forest. Ah. Are we finished, then? Uh, I expected more boars. Bigger ones, tougher ones, lots of them. There might be more around. Hmm... There might be. Alden sort of looks over at Alvin. Uh, Alvin will just say, well, we shouldn't hunt more than we can eat, should we? I mean, hunting boars is fun and all, but uh, I'm no sure Amika would, uh, I'm sure Amika would appreciate uh, some more meat. Adam Foxlove seems to think on this. Ah, uh, well, maybe maybe the good uh, the good gnome is is right. Maybe we we should uh, be respectful to a forest we don't know too much about. Yes, perhaps. There are no telling what other dangers lurk within the Tickwood, especially given in light of the goblin attack that occurred but days prior. Oh, pish posh. The goblins wouldn't dare attack us here. So Loro rotates his head to look at Foxglove, leans down a bit, uh, you know, though, uh, you know, he's still quite a tall figure, and says, They dared to attack us in the town before the opening of the new cathedral. I would surmise they might do just about anything. I've heard stories of them trying all sorts of crazy antics, one that would seem insane to you or I, hiding in all sorts of horrific locations, including ovens themselves, only to get their wide heads stuck in them. It would not be far-fetched to see an attack here. Uh, at this, Alan Foxlove laughs heartily. Oh, ho, ho, oh, ho, oh, oh, fun stories. And he looks around, seemingly quite unperturbed by this, uh, by this prospect. 
Hmm. Very well then, L let us return. I am sure they will be triumphant indeed. Solara's head rotates towards Aranas. Well done, sorcerer. And then Soloro and Heinrich dash off. <laughs> Not having spent their strength at all. <laughs> oh, god damn. Er Erebin, having no interest in continuing hunting, is going to, at a slower speed, follow. Yeah, I'm not going to also head off. Uh, yes. Muttering to himself. Uh, during the um, uh, during the journey back, uh, Alden Foxglove is still sort of insisting on on advice how to learn how to fight, and uh, and uh, is is quite insistent in you know sort of martial training and how he would go about it and stuff like that. Um, it seems to be something that that is quite sort of engaging to him. Uh, during the ride back, Erevan will just slip a comment to him of. Never underestimate your enemy. Very well, uh, yes. Uh, Foxglove nods at this, um, seemingly wise words, and, and takes note and, and sort of nods and says, mm, Yes, indeed, very, very good. Eventually, Solora will slow Heinrich down to allow the others to catch up with him. For their untrained horses that they're all unfamiliar with cannot best Heinrich Bunsen. Horse Ranger! <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Well, um, after a, a more hours traveling back, um, the party ar arrives back in Sandpoint, and uh, Alan Foxglove looks at them all. Well, um, thank you for an excellent and exciting hunt. Uh, I will take the boar and deliver it to Ameko. And uh, we will have a grand feast tonight. Um, as for the horses, and it looks over, well, you can keep them. A gift from, uh, from me to you. 